Bellevue Manor Asylum was like many other hospitals in its time where too many patients were submitted and not enough staff was present to care for them. One suicide after another, this place was cluttered with things gone wrong. One worker had a drinking problem and drank himself to sleep in the boiler room where he would suffocate to death and be found dead in the morning. Other staff members could not handle the horrors they were experiencing at the hospital and decided to take their own lives by jumping off of the rooftop to their deaths. Many sightings have been reported still to this day of apparitions and spirits wandering the halls within this hospital. One spirit of a little boy who wishes death upon anyone who sees him, the spirit of a man who is known as the dollar photographer, he would take photographs of visitors for a dollar while visiting patients, and a woman who died falling downstairs from her wheelchair. Tonight, Steve and I will be spending the night with all of them, trying to get them to communicate with us and prove if this place is actually haunted once and for all. You're going somewhere that's known to be haunted and is being sold as a place that's known to be haunted. You can walk in with skepticism. In 1,000 feet, you will arrive at the security right there, it looks like. Something felt like it was around you. And that's enough to get, get you kind of in the senses where you're ready to start investigating the place. Dude, I thought I just saw something go across. It could have been the light, but if it did, mm -hmm. I got it on camera. After reviewing the footage, if you look closely, you'll see that there was a shadow that came out of the door and went behind the wall. Here's a couple more playbacks. What do you think? I might have been just tripping because there's a lot of shadows in here. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. See, the thing is with these little fucking hallways and the pitch black. You don't know black, where lights are bouncing off. Yeah, you tough. can't tell with the shadows. You remember what happened last time? Yeah. Don't get a knock back, bro. Make yourself known. Now we heard that this room has tons of activity and we were also told that you guys like to talk about football in here I'm gonna put the EMF detector over here on this chair let's all sit down in a chair okay yeah let's have a seat let's have a talk about the Browns and how good they are <laughs> what are we talk about how Pittsburgh's gonna get a seventh ring you know either or yeah whatever it is I know I'm in your home right now I know that I'm in your residence and uh, I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I know you don't like the Browns, but I just want your company. I just want to see if you can come and join us for a minute. And if you can, if you could sit right here or touch the EMF detector, it definitely will light it up and we'll know that you're here. You don't have to be afraid of us. We're not uh, here to cause... Oh. Thank you. Thank you. We're not here to harm you, and I'm very happy that you just did that for us. So what was interesting about George's room is when Casey asked, we're not here to harm you, do you just want to come talk? Because that's typically not our style. So it, once he said that, and then we got an EMF spike and our phone wasn't like down on it, like nothing was around that would have messed with it, that wouldn't have messed with it prior when we had it on the seat or had it anywhere in the building. Thank you. Thank you. We're not here to harm you and I'm very happy that you just did that for us. Wow. Got that? There it's, they are. They're doing it. Hi. Hi, guys. Steel curtain, baby. So you do like the Steelers, and you don't want to be intimidated. Thank you so much for joining us. Can you move it up a little bit more? Can you put it up to the orange? You just, you moved it halfway, but if you get a little bit closer, I would really love to take a photograph of this beautiful setup you have with the football 
and the Pittsburgh Steelers. I think it's awesome that you guys were Steelers fans. Oh, here we go. Definitely want to take a picture of this room. Yeah. So this room is home of, what was her name again? Mary Virginia. Mary Virginia. It's early out. And you know what, Mary? It's time to come out and play. right there. Can you make a move? Make, let us know which one's your favorite right now. Make a move the most so we can tell which one it is. None of the others are moving. Which ones are your favorites, Mary? I can bring you new ones. Hey, Mary, I'm going to set this EMF detector over here with your toys. And uh, maybe, maybe you'd like to communicate with us through that while you're coming over to move the necklace. You can turn your light on. Activity. Next to you. Yeah. Could have been me sitting on the bed. That thing was going off for sure. Are you sitting next to me? Oh, wow. wow. When that EMF went off next to me, right when we said, Are you sitting next to me? That's when, that's when it starts getting like, why? Like out of all the times this thing could malfunction, why now? Sure. Can you sit next to me? Oh, wow. wow. Ask her again. Do you mind me sitting next to you? Or are you sitting next to Steve right now? Are you sitting next to me right now? Are you in this room? Are you in your bed? That's a yes, I'd say. All right, so you're in your bed. Do you want me in your bed? If you do, make these things move. Did that mean no? Can you make it move if that meant no? If it's a yes, can you make it move if you want Steve in your bed? Okay. Maybe you're neutral. Maybe you don't really care. Yo, neutral. You don't care if he's in your bed or not. I think that means it doesn't matter. You could be here or you, you, it doesn't matter. What if I mess your toys up? These guys are Jimmy and Jules. Apparently they were like the hustlers of the building. These are the ones that would try to sell everything to people. You've got Polaroid pictures on the counter. You've got golf balls, dollar bills. And I think that this is where the photographer would be hanging out. Uh, the one that passed away and wanted to take people's pictures for a dollar. So I am going to take a picture of them, their little setup that they got. And then I'm going to leave the camera here with a dollar bill. That way if the photographer would like to come out and play, he has a chance. Our trigger item that we brought today, we'll give them a shot. But let me take a picture first of these guys. See how that comes out. We'll leave this here. It's coming from over here. It's the ball I move. Yeah, yeah, that's the ball you put on there. Shit, wait, wait, stay still. Oh, look at this, bro. Check this out. Looks like a face, right? Yeah, look at that shit. Like, it's just that one spot. How's that happen? Yeah, that's pretty wild. That is weird, right? Here, move the light from it real quick. That's on the outside. That's the like, outside. it's like outside looking in. Yeah. Dude, you fucking hear that? Fucking camera. That was the camera, right? When the Polaroid went off and we were down the hall, I mean, there is no mistaking the sound of a Polaroid. I'm telling you, that was a camera. No shit. You can't make that sound up. Did you hit record on the camera? Is this is this camera recording? The main one? Yeah. Sure Dude, there's a picture right here. This, oh, and shit. took a picture while we were in there, bro. 
Where's the picture? It takes a while to develop. Is this camera recording? Hold on. Bro, the camera's recording. We gotta yes. check that footage, bro. I knew it was a Polaroid. Casey knew it was a Polaroid. We just knew no one was there with us. So how the hell did it go off? recording. We gotta yes. check that footage, bro. Can't believe we got this on camera, dude. Good job, dude. Yeah. Record. I didn't know if you could record on the static <laughs> you camera. Always shit wow. we got lucky. Okay, so this camera does have a timer on it. Just to point that out there. Mm -hmm. This camera was on this the whole time. If the timer was on, it only goes for 8 seconds max. Okay. We were in there for 15, 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if the timer's on, um, this light is on and it'll be blinking right look i'll do it right now okay. look see the light blinking okay so if that light is not blinking in the video yeah, well, we have to review it next we got we got to look at it yeah so after analyzing this photo that was taken all by itself there appears to be a white mist clouding the lower right side of the image and also if you look in the doorway it almost appears to be an elderly woman in a white gown gazing out Perhaps this is the spirit of Mary Virginia following us down the hallways after Steve disturbed her toys. And strangely enough, none of the other photos from the evening had this white mist in it or any other faces in the background. I don't know if I believe in the whole 3 a.m. thing. All I do know is that around 3 a.m. we were wrapping up. It went from us looking for evidence to evidence coming to us. It wasn't that long away, it was like in that room. Oh shit. Yeah, like for real, like I'm nervous now. Because I feel like that wasn't paranormal, that was like something. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If it wasn't paranormal, it would be a raccoon or... Can you make something move? Don't be afraid of us. Oh, okay. I didn't even touch the thing. I don't see nothing that would Wait, 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 wait. It's in here. I didn't hear it at first. Casey heard it. He froze and was kind of giving me like the serious, hold on, dude. Can you make that move again? It's moving a little bit. 
Can you make it move like you just made a move a minute ago, please? Lift it on up. You saw that, right? Dude, I said that it was risen, right? Yeah, and then it sunk back down. It rose up and it went back down. is that bro what yeah. the fuck is that yo holy shit bro dude what the can shit can you put that is light it? in there too so we got better lighting keep it in there it's really easy to look at this after the fact and be like hmm it could be this could be that but you weren't there and when you're there and you're playing with that light and it was doing it on command, it's freaky. It, it, it was, it was, it froze us. And it's something that we can't recreate. clogged full of shit. So how is that moving? No idea. That. It's not moving due to air passing through I'm, here. I'm actually very glad we didn't find something living in there. Cause now explain me how that, how that was happening. Would I say Hillview is haunted? Um, yes. I don't know if it's the most haunted place we've ever been to, but as far as things happening that shouldn't happen, um, yeah, things happen there. I mean, and we were only there for six, seven hours. I mean, people that are there all day, every day, when they say their stories, for the most part, I believe them. After a long night of filming, Steve and I drove home and discussed all the things we had witnessed. George and Mary responding to the EMF detectors, the face from outside of the window looking in, a Polaroid camera going off on its own, the bag on the toilet moving although the pipes were completely clogged, and a photo, which we soon saw once we got home, which appeared to be an elderly woman's face looking out of a doorway. We would say that we got something. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments down below. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon so you get notified every new adventure we go on. And until next time, I will catch you guys later. Don't fucking do a jump scare on me right now. I already feel it coming. You're yeah, yeah. I'm gonna fucking shit my pants, and then that's the end of the video. <laughs> Can't continue with shit down my pants. All right, we need to go find your your uh hallway well here's the here's the table where someone's gonna tell me what you're on, on the right side or not am i on the right side i think this is the right side can someone please serve me <laughs> oh Yo, what's where, that? Where is that? Where is that at? Hold on, don't move. It's right inside the damn... It's right there. Is there someone serving us lunch right now? What is that? Is that <laughs> that's shit, dude. dude, that's somebody reaching out trying to serve a tray. Is someone trying to give us some food? You trying to give us some chicken? Awesome <laughs> <laughs> oh, chicken, Frank! <laughs> Hey, let me get a hold of them biscuits. Yeah, he's wanna go back. Oh look, wait, go back. Keep going back. Damn, you lost it. Yeah, but that's pretty crazy though, because if I lost it, then what was it in the first place? <laughs> <laughs>